My name is Mona Mamza, and you are watching The People's View with Gladys Alibi. My name is Stella Jeremiah. I want to talk about the awesomeness of God. God is awesome. He's the God that does terrible things in righteousness. The God that can defile science. Science cannot even fathom. They can't even predict him. Because he's the one that creates science in the first place. So he has beat even the imaginations of scientists. So when you say God is awesome, you are just you lack words as a human being to describe him. You see what he does. You see what limits human comprehension. In fact, there's no dictionary word in, or archives that can describe him. Even in heaven, the Bible says the elders, they bow down to him. And because there's nothing they could just, they just keep on saying holy, 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 because they cannot predict him. He's, he has dimension. God is dimensional. He's full of wisdom. He's sovereign and he's kind and he's loving. And he does terrible things we call miracles, but that is his way. So that is what we mean when we say God is awesome. It's a privilege to have him as my God and my Father. Thank you. Hello there, uh, my name is Abby Debbie, and I just want to share with you a little about what I understand, you know, with God's awesomeness. Um, awesomeness is who God is. You know, we cannot take that from God every time we hear about God, every time we read about God, every time we, we see, you know, God at work in the lives of others and even in our lives, we see nothing but his awesomeness. You know, we are always left baffled. We are always left mesmerized, you know, with his works and his, um, uh, his workings in our lives. We have seen how he created the world. It is pure awesomeness. We see how he worked with the children of Israelites. It was pure awesomeness. And we see how he came to Jesus Christ because he has been trying. All God's effort has been trying to reconcile man back to himself has been fading. And so Jesus, God brought Jesus in order to fulfill this purpose. And in Jesus, all the awesomeness of God has been made manifest to man. Jesus did not just come to reconcile us, but he came to make peace with man and God and to fulfill the requirements you know of God as expected to be fulfilled by man Jesus fulfilled it and now we stand in the place of glory in the place of grace to commune with God and to experience his awesomeness his glory in our lives the Lord bless you I remain yours Ab Debbie Hello, my name is Faithmore Rich Giwa. Um, what I understand by God's awesomeness has to do with his entity, his amazing work, his miraculous work that we cannot really actually explain with our little human minds. But I find one word to express and to show my understanding, showcase my understanding about God's awesomeness. The words amazing, miraculous, wonders through the scriptures from genesis through revelation through revelation we see god awesomeness how he created something out of nothing the whole world he called them to be and he formed man from the dust and breathed the breath of life into man until man falls and he still find a way through his awesomeness amazing work to send his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, to die for our sin. And the conception of Jesus Christ alone is another amazing, miraculous work that God has done. From nothing, out of nothing, he brought forth a son. 
not through the normal human intercourse. That's God's awesomeness. What is your own understanding or opinion on the word awesome God? What is so awesome in your life? You can drop your own view or understanding or opinion on the comment section box for us to see how awesome God is he is in your life do well to drop your own opinion and understanding by the word awesome awesome how awesome God is in your life and I remain Gladys Alibi and with the people view with Gladys Alibi on another topic that will be coming up next so see you soon as you drop your own view in the comment section so bye for now with gladys Alipi. bye